Hey, greetings, everybody. My name is Jonathan. You may know me as That Rabbit Guy, uh, which has changed to That Rabbit Guy S. I welcome to you to my channel by saying thank you for uh, clicking on my channel and making sure that you said to subscribe. We have 4,720 subscribers uh, as of date, and it will be nice to see the subscriber count reach 5,000 by the end of 2022. Let's see, maybe that's possible. In today's video, I have, I call this my Tipa, the, uh, I call this my Lapicera Favorita, which is uh, essentially a THC oil pen cartridge. Uh, if you live in Florida, you understand that we're in pandemic times. We're in Omicron times now, which is a perfect time to relax, uh, lay low for a while if you can. Instead of smoking plant-based THC, I'll rather inhale through my lungs uh, oil version. Why is it because of how much uh, money you waste um, rolling uh, joints as compared to... THC oil, or even smoking through a bong. Now, if now this this channel is specifically for if you have a vehicle and you're smart enough and old enough to maintain the vehicle yourself. Now we're transitioning from that to also opening the the perspective a little bit of the vast amount of observation that we have around this planet that has been here before we even existed as humans. This planet has been here uh, before first man was even, uh, our, before even our brains were was developed, which I would love to do research videos on that and upload it so everybody can see. In today's reaction video, we're going to react to Unknown Universe number five, The Final Journey. This video was uploaded on April 12th, 2008 so it's been uh, quite a while since this video has been uploaded it has a shy amount of 10,269 views and this channel this video was uploaded by this channel called andros enigma x which is a very amazing channel if you actually pay attention to my reaction channel or my reaction videos i should say uh you would understand that you have an idea that this channel means a lot to me when it comes to uh, describing what are outer space aliens, what is space, what is outer world, what is the other world, what is beyond the ozone layer, How is well, how I would put it, what is beyond orbit. I really, I, I, I extremely would be very excited to maybe see one day outer space aliens landing, like how movies have been warning us for many decades. I think it is possible for uh, UFOs to land. It is good to have hope. Uh, I am uh, a person of a belief of a higher power. We live in a world that could be very dark and scary, but I've, I always have this urge, especially when I smoke THC oil or I inhale anything that's similar to this, I always get this feeling that this planet is given to us humans, us humans. I don't want to say mankind. I don't want to say mankind because uh, if you really pay attention, humans have been calling Earth, Mother Earth forever. So therefore, Mother Earth is female. Therefore, every animal in existence is female, as in Mother Earth. So if the planet is female, it does make sense that us mankind is in charge of this planet to fix it. Now, I look up on, on Instagram or maybe on the news, it's majorly women worrying about the environment and climate control and and recycling. It's mainly women using their voices for uh, to help planet Earth. So therefore, my hypothesis is if planet Earth is female, then us males, or us male vessels have to uh, maintain this earth. It's a slippery, it's a slippery slope because we also live in a timeline where women accuse men of making more money by having the same amount of job, same amount of work. So imagine if mother earth is watching every human 
experience this or every female attack a male not attack but defend for what there is their belief and i could kind of can see that uh i would be pissed off if somebody was doing the same amount of work as me and it was making more money just because it made uh a higher uh, a higher executive level uh more comfortable since I don't know what it is now. Everybody, now we live in modern times. Uh, guys get very along with each other compared to a room full of girls. That's the type of environment we live now, everybody. At least now in my perspective here in 2021. And there's a lot of things to be more reacted. Uh, I hope to upload more videos. If you guys really, or if you guys and girls, and females, outer space aliens, I'm checking in here from planet Earth third planet for the sun and the in our uh, planet earth solar system I'm not sure if there's a name for the, for our solar system but um, checking in from there if you're watching from any part of the universe at this point I really think God bless you if you're struggling with COVID-19 uh, uh, a habitat where you're suffering during COVID-19 and now that if you're suffering Omicron and you're checking out my channel God bless you. This is not an easy time, especially if you have kids, especially if you're in the states where they had riots uh, many moons ago, where they had riots to take down the Capitol, or not the right to take out the Capitol, but the Seattle riots, people burning down, looting. If you got stress on that, God bless you. It wasn't your fault. Those are demons thinking that Jesus Christ or the higher power that's protected and been dying for us uh, was not watching when Jesus Christ the higher power Jesus himself and uh, Jesus' uh, children have been watching us as well which are the angels the angels are watching from the sky everybody the angels don't come from the ground like zombies now, before we fur we get further into this uh, this rant that's turning into an intro went from a rant, um, think about this for a second, everyone. Why did Call of Duty decide to make the zombies Nazi zombies? That's that is my question of my question for this video. If you ever play Call of Duty Nazi zombies, answer me that question because I I don't think I've ever played that game other than to see how other than to see how it is so now we're gonna start this video on your universe 5 the final journey this video is like a Let's do a raw reaction. Let's check out this video. So initially we see the sunrise and we see a blue moon. We see mountains very vividly. Mind you everybody, this is 2008 editing. So God bless this pioneer. This is when Tesla was one years old. Tesla was still in her diapers when this video was released. This was when, when you make editing videos and they had that DivX video uh, trademark logo on the side. Now we're looking at space. Look how vast space is, everyone. This is where I need you all to understand. Doing being this fast next to the sun is hundreds of one number, one digit with zeros behind it. We just saw the planet Mars, which is. The Mars, Mars is in, I want to say, Aries and Scorpio. We're passing the Saturn, with the planet Saturn. Beautiful Saturn. I love, planet, planet Saturn has always been in my head, always been relevant. Now everybody, I'm not sure if you all have done acid or tabs, but when I did, um, if I if I did drugs in that type of level, I would think it would look like this visually. 
just imagine floating around and just seeing this. Again, this is the size of multiple light years across in, in the space. It looks like a crowd. I see a, I see a human skull in the center. It looks very angelic, the photos. I wonder what they're trying to tell. Now, this is CGI, but this is just an idea of what space could be. Again, I've seen this in these videos. As soon as I start talking about space and outer space aliens or what could be out beyond the ozone layer, I start yawning profusely. I see the shape of a triangle and the stars. This is the, the amazing thing about it. As all the things that are going on in planet Earth, space looks like that. Like, I think that outer space aliens have a lot more things to worry about than our tiny little sand grain of a planet that we have. That's what I think planet uh, Earth is. We are a tiny little sand grain that's near the water that still has water. Wow, that was beautiful. Look how many galaxies are there, everyone. It kind of looks like webs. It kind of looks like lights in a Christmas or a lights in a, in a night environment and the lights are like different sections that's amazing if you really think about it i initially thought spider webs like a bunch of spiders and the center is a spider web imagine if we were in a spider web do spiders make uh their spider webs in a spiral i'm getting a, a weird feeling right here when i said that makes me think of the movie matrix when they remove that needle behind uh, the main protagonist neck. That was beautiful. The interior of the Bob Lazar UFO description would be that color, I believe. Like the interior of a UFO would be that that spiral uh, color. Beautiful. Just imagine the type of civilization or alien race that can zoom this fast. This is what Parva feels like to be in a UFO. Inside of a UFO, it maybe this presenter was showing that to travel to different uh, galaxies, the outer space aliens have to travel either in a black hole or some kind of time warp or some kind of wormhole, and that's what it looks like. And then once they once they get out of that wormhole. They're that they're this fast. This is how fast uh, the UFOs. I would assume uh, if I had a contact to a UFO, it would be this fast. So maybe this is what the video is trying to describe subconsciously. This is amazing if you really think about it. Like um, just think about it for a second. The UFOs have to travel very fastly at a distance that's even vast for them because it's light years, as in. One object will take the speed of 300 million miles per hour a year of that speed to reach that distance. That's how vast um, space is. Now I see planet Earth zooming away from another planet. That's very interesting. A planet with four moons. Is that showing the origin of Earth? That's Mars, I believe. Oh, it's showing how Earth was once a red planet. Oh, this this took millions of years. Imagine this was... <gasps> wow. Good journey. Peace be all to the universe. That's amazing, everyone. That was beautiful. What a beautiful, amazing video. That actually, it touched my heart. It touched my soul. It touched my, my essence to, to be even be more dramatic. So initially, I did not know what I would get into watching this video about space and just doing a presentation of what space could be. But the something has touched my brain. Now, the last part where I showed planet Earth or a planet forming, that is, a for me, a subconscious sentence that was presented that the aliens saw planet Earth form. And then when Earth was ready to have life, they left life and then took off. Just think about it for a second, everybody. We all think of angels. Angels come from the sky. They come from the heavens. They come from the clouds. They come from the actual clouds. We have the movie War, War of the Worlds. And then when there's a thunderstorm, the aliens come from the clouds. 
which are essentially angels, they use lightning strikes to enter Earth's core, Earth's crust, and they travel up to travel. The, that's how they get through the um, unsuspectedly. Now, in one of my videos, if you check out my channel, my UFO reaction videos, I have two, but the one that is uh, not the Jerusalem one, but the compilation UFO video reaction, I hypothesized that during thunder strikes, UFOs could use that, that time when the sky is covered to do their traffic passing on by. Because if I was, if I had the power to drive an outer space alien UFO, I would not tell anybody, much less uh, a race more inferior than me. That's my hypothesis. But with that, uh, I hope I opened uh, a new portal to your mind of what space could really be. Space is not just a ball of fire then a bunch of uh, other grains of sand falling it around. I truly believe uh, outer space is unlimited amount of things that we can discover what is possible. Like, what is the center of the galaxy? I've never seen Journey to the Center of the Galaxies. There's a lot of movies that are space and superhero originated. Uh, you will notice as, as a human race, we rely on superheroes to bring us our, our momentum up, our hopes up, and then at the end of the day, a lot of the superheroes, if not all of them, are from outer space. So it would be perfect to describe outer space aliens as the superheroes that we all know to love. And with that, I would like to say thank you so much for checking in my channel. This is That Rabbit Guy, which is now That Rabbit Guy S, saying thank you. God bless you. I hope the very best with you during current... <clears throat> I hope the very best with you during COVID-19 times. Goodbye. Tornado.